Hi, this is Abdul Karim from Khalij Times, and in this video, we'll be discussing the relations between the United Arab Emirates and Israel. On the 13th of August, UAE and Israel signed a peace agreement known as the Abraham Accord to formally normalize the relationship with Israel. The UAE becomes the third Arab country to officially recognize Israel and develop the foreign relations. Israeli companies will be able to operate openly in the United Arab Emirates and the Israelis will be able to fly directly to the Emirates using their Israeli passports. Israel's informal diplomatic liaison to the International Renewable Energy Agency in the Emirates, which was established in 2015, will be replaced by an embassy. Let's look at the key events that led to this. First, in 2015, Israel opened a diplomatic office in the Emirati capital of Abu Dhabi tied to the International Renewable Energy Agency. Israel also announced it was set to participate in Dubai's World Expo 2020, which is now scheduled to open in October 2021. 27 athletes from Israel representing the country in four different sports participated in the Special Olympic Games held in Abu Dhabi in 2019. In February 2020, an Israeli cycling team raced through the Emirates as part of the UAE tour, marking their first participation in the event. Then, on May 19, 2020, an Etihad Airways plane flew from the United Arab Emirates to Israel to deliver coronavirus supplies to the Palestinians. In July 2020, Abu Dhabi-based technology company G42 signed an MOU with Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and Israel Aerospace Industries to explore collaborations in the research and development of effective solutions to combat SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19 disease. A few months later, on August 13, the Abraham Accord was signed to formalize the bilateral relations. Then, on August 28, UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan issued a Federal Decree Law No. 4 of 2020, abolishing the Federal Law No. 15 of 1972, which was known as the Israel Boycott Law. This means that the UAE companies can now sign agreements and trade with Israeli companies, while Israeli goods can now be sold in the United Arab Emirates. Now let's look at the impact. Firstly, Israeli annexation of the West Bank has been suspended. For the UAE, the treaty will boost trade and drive real estate markets. On Monday, 31st of August, flight LY971, in line with the UAE's calling code of Israeli flag carrier El Al, will depart from Ben Gurion Airport to land in Abu Dhabi to be the first commercial flight from Israel to the United Arab Emirates, carrying diplomatic officials from Israel and the United States. What happened here was three great leaders came together and they started writing the script for a new Middle East. President Trump worked very closely with Prime Minister Netanyahu and the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Zayed. And they said, we don't have to, the future doesn't have to be predetermined by the past. This was a quick wrap up of all the developments that have led to the formalization of ties between Israel and the UAE. To read more about the upcoming meetings and the benefits of the peace agreement, log on to khalijtimes.com.